Hello, and thank you for watching this Scholarship Foundation educational video. Our topic is how to choose a major and explore careers. So students, does this sound familiar to you? People asking you, so what are you going to do when you graduate? What are you going to major in? And you're thinking, how am I supposed to know what I want to do for the rest of my life? I love history, but my parents want me to study computer science so I can get a good job. Well, first of all, you're not alone if these questions are frustrating for you. 60% of college students change their major at least once, and two-thirds of college freshmen do not have a declared major. So how do you deal with that question, even when you ask yourself, what do I want to do? Well, choosing a major means thinking ahead about what interests you and what your skills and abilities are and what your values are. So let's talk about these three key factors. Interests, skills, and values. So interests, well, what are you interested in? Skills, what are you skilled at? What are your abilities? And values, what is important to you? So with interests, what are your enthusiasms? What do you like to do? What are your primary concerns? What are you curious about? Um, and these might be interests you would have that you would do whether or not you were paid to do them. Um, things that make you feel satisfied or happy, or maybe things that you do in your spare time or whenever you can. Think about what are your skills and abilities? Uh, what were or are your best subjects in school? What activities come easy to you? Maybe things, anything, photography, sports, history, computers, singing, acting, math, science, reading, art, design, cooking, politics, music, whatever it might be. What is important to you? What are your values? Spending time with family? Uh, independence, perhaps, working on your own? Dollars, money, a high paying job? Status or a title, climbing the ladder? Philanthropy or doing good things? Stability, a stable job that's always there? Or challenge, maybe that's what you're looking for. So when you're thinking about these things, what can you do next to choose a major? Well, one of the things that you definitely can do is go to the Career Center at your high school and meet with a career counselor or meet with a guidance counselor at the high school as well. Many students skip that very easy step. You can also look at a list of undergraduate majors offered by a local college. You can talk to an academic advisor at a local college. You don't need to be a current college student to investigate the college near you. And you don't have to attend that college or be planning to attend that college to go ask questions and explore. Is there anything else? Well, what else can you do to investigate a major and career? Some people take a personality test or take a test of career aptitude. There are lots of these free sample tests on the internet and often at career centers at your school. Uh, if you do do this on the internet, do remember when taking a test not to give any really confidential information like your social security number. Uh, good legitimate tests won't ask you for those things. Also, ask your parents, your relatives, your aunts, your uncles, and other adults you know about their careers. Give them a mini interview and find out why they chose their career. And finally, I think career exploration means taking action. So volunteer at, an, at a nonprofit or a business, or do an internship for the summer, or job shadow for a day or a week with a professional in careers you might be interested in. All of these things will lead you in a direction to get started on making a good choice. So thank you for listening. And if you have financial aid questions or need assistance in any way, please contact the Scholarship Foundation at our information here. And at the Scholarship Foundation, we're creating opportunity and transforming lives, one scholarship at a time.